तो हेलो एवरीवन वी आर बैक अगेन विद आवर लेटेस्ट वीडियो ऑन सीक्वल ट्यूटोरियल वी कैचो बाय ये वी कैचो ग्रुप्स एंड दिस इज द डे वन एंड सेट वन ऑफ थर्टी डेज सीक्वल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टुडे व्हिच इज 29th अप्रैल 2025 एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू कवर ईच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आस्क्ड इन सीक्वल फ्रॉम क्वेरी बेस्ड टू थ्योरेटिकल क्वेश्चंस एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर बिगिनर्स टू एक्सपर्ट लेवल पीपल ओके so without any delay move on to the first question of today's video so what we have first we will clear the th query part and then after that we will go to the theoretical part so first question is how to retrieve the second highest salary of an employee so basically the employees table we have already created and let's copy this question and move on to sql server and check how to resolve this particular question so here we will open our database which is sql interview now open a new query window then paste this question here and this is the first question so we need to retrieve the second highest salary of an employee so this question is very frequently asked question and this question we have already discussed in our previous sets also so i think most of you are aware of this particular question so today we are going to resolve this question in two ways okay two methods so first of all check the employees table what kind of data it has so select star from employees employees so when we execute this so here we have the id name department country age and salary columns okay and now we need to find out the second highest salary so basically we can do it in two ways uh, like first of all we can use the maximum function and other way is to use the top function okay so first of all we will use the maximum function okay so now max we are applying here so first of all select max with the sub query we need so select select max salary salary from employees table ws employees table and then where here our sub query will come so where salary in where salary is less than less than what select max salary salary from employees table from employees table and uh, what it is doing so here from the sub query it is providing the maximum salary and the outer query is checking for the maximum salary which is less than the top salary which is the second highest salary okay so execute this and this is one method by which we can uh, give the solution for this particular question so here we are getting 99000 as our record and now the other thing what you can do we can use the top function so how to apply the top function so for that we can use like select top to star from employees table employees so top to salary from okay because we need the salary column only so salary from employees and then we will order our record set by descending so order by salary salary descending okay this is one part and then the first part will come like select top one top one from top one star from okay so top one star from and this particular query will act as a derived table here so from this query and mention it as a and then order by salary descend uh, ascending so here we don't need to provide the asc keyword and this is the second query by which we can find out the second highest salary okay now execute this and this will provide us the second highest salary which is 99000 in our table okay now move on to the next question so next what we have so next we have the how to get the nth highest salary okay in sql so how to find out the nth highest salary okay so for this also there are two methods so but here we will use the second method which we have not used in our previous video so for finding the nth highest salary we can use the dense rank windows function okay so paste this question here and from the salaries table we will find out nth highest salary 
okay so the query for this will be like select salary and then dense rank select salary one second provide comma then d n s dense underscore n s e then dense rank over and then order by order by salary salary s a s a l a r y salary descending because we need to find out the nth highest salary okay not the lowest salary so from which table from employees table from employees table and give alias to this dense rank so as rnk so what this particular query will do this is not the complete query this is the half query so this will provide a rank column after all the salaries based on their uh, based on salary descending order okay and now we need to take a derived table take this particular query as derived table and write like select salary salary from 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 this particular query okay as a and then here you can mention where r and k rank equals to n so let's take the example like we need the second highest salary so second if you mention rank equal to 2 then it will provide the second highest salary which is 99,000 as we have checked previously only so if you need the 10th highest salary then just mention 10 here and then execute this so this will provide you the 10th highest salary which is 45,000 here okay so this is clear now move on to the next question so there is one more method for this we can use the offset and uh, fetch next so that we have already discussed in our previous video so that you can go and check how to you uh, find out the nth higher salary using one method different other than this and comment us if you find out that solution and if you don't find out that solution then let us know we will mention in our different video okay so now what we have we have the third question so how to fetch all employees whose salary is greater than the average salary okay so the, basically this is a very frequently asked question and this is very simple question also but people i don't know why make mistakes in this particular question very quickly okay so basically we need to use the sub query here and for the sub query we have created a detailed video on our channel that you will find the link on our description so you can go and check that video also if you need more knowledge on how to use the sub query and what are the types of sub query and how to use the powerful thing which is sub query in sql okay so if you are a developer or you are going to become a developer then you must know sub queries in sql because that is a very important concept okay so how to fetch all the employees whose salary is greater than the average salary so for this the solution will be like select fetch all employees so all employees so select name comma salary from employees table employees table and here the sub query will come where salary salary is greater than so salary should be greater than the average salary and in the sub query we will find out the average salary in employees table so select select avg salary from employees table okay and this is the final query that you need to provide to the interviewer for this particular question now execute this and this will provide us all the employees whose salary is greater than the average salary okay and by executing only this part you can check what is the average salary so average salary is 73,666 and then when you execute the whole query then you can check all the records are greater than that particular record okay now move on to the next question so next what we have let's comment this first so next we have the fourth question so write a query to display the current date and time so this is a very simple question and this question belongs to date and time function so for date and time function also we have created a detailed video so for more knowledge on date and time function you can go and check that particular video also because date and time is a very uh, used concept in sql 
and that questions from that particular date and time function will be asked very frequently in SQL interviews. Okay, uh, even it is for data analyst, even it is for data engineer, and even it is for uh, database developer. For all roles, date and time function is important. Okay, so what we need to do here? So write a query to display the current date and time. So for that we have an inbuilt function which is current timestamp or get date also we have which will provide the current date of the system that we are using. So for that means basically for current date and time uh, we can use the current timestamp or you can use the get date also. So select current current timestamp current timestamp and this is the inbuilt function provided by SQL Server. So when you execute this, this will provide you the current timestamp, means current date and time. Okay, so you can see from our system, it's uh, 2312, uh, 29th April, so 29th April 2312, 04. Okay, and this uh, second part will increase when we execute it again and again. Okay, so you can see the second part is getting changed according to the current time. Okay, now move on to the next question. So next what we have next we have how to find out duplicate records in a table okay so for this duplicate record we have created one separate table where we have put some duplicate records so that we will check how to find them out using a query okay now paste this and this is a very frequently asked question and very good question uh, according to sql perspective okay because for data cleaning you need to know how to find out the duplicate records in a table so we have a table select star from employees employees with duplicate data okay so when we execute this so this has the same column as that of employees table but it has some duplicate records so you can see here we have uh, number one record id1 as duplicate id12 as duplicate 11 as duplicate but how to find it out using the query so for finding out the duplicate records in a table we can write a query like so basing a basis a column we need to take a column as basis so here we will take the name column as the basis because all the records for name column are unique in our table so select name and then you need to find out count star so count star will fetch all the records related to that particular name so name wise all the count it will provide for count star okay so select name comma count star from employees duplicate table group by group by name column and then we need to filter out the condition like having count star count star greater than one so basically we here we can't use the where clause because count star is the aggregate function and with aggregate function we will use the having clause only where clause we can't use here so regarding that the detailed video is available on our channel so you can check that also okay so that link we will provide in the description also okay so from the description itself you can find out the videos now execute this and this will provide us the record set of duplicate uh, rows so here you can see as as duplicate duplicate value okay so here you can see the count for this record aman record any record and nina record is more than one time okay so it is a repeated or duplicate record okay so this is clear now move on to the next question so next we have the theoretical questions so sixth question what it is telling so we can make our screen large so that uh, then we can move to the sixth question so sixth question what we have what do you understand by view in sql server so a view in is a virtual table whose contents are defined by a query okay so basically views in sql server are virtual table whose con uh, contents are defined by a query it is a select query okay so or a view is, is stored select statement that works like a virtual table okay so this concept is clear for views now we have the seventh question so what are the types of views so basically in sql we have five types of views so the types of views are standard views index view which is also called the materialized view and partition views system views and catalog views okay so in interviews only give the answers to the point okay so if you are going to give a detailed answer then the interviewer will also go in depth to you okay so to the point answer provide 
if they are asking for types of view then you need to provide only the types of view not what the views are so on top of view we have already created one video so if you need a detailed knowledge on views then you can go and check that video and that video we will also provide in our channel description okay now move to the next question so next we have the eighth question so these are very important question very short question but these things cannot be remembered for long time okay so before going to interview just practice all the questions once so that you can crack any kind of interview so how many columns a view can contain so a view can contain a maximum of 1024 means 1024 columns okay now the ninth question the table that makes up a view are also called as so the tables that makes up the view are also called as the base tables okay so basically these questions are missed because we don't practice these questions because these are very simple question but cannot be remembered every time okay so we must need to go through all the question sets once before going to a interview okay now the last question for today's video is can you create a view by using temporary tables so the answer is no we cannot create a view by using a temporary table okay so thank you for watching everyone and uh, we are going to load every day for 30 days a practice set each uh, means uh, each day we are going to provide a different different set to you so that you can practice for your interview in a depth okay so many more videos are on the way do like share and subscribe to our channel and for data sets or tables that we are using in our videos for that you can go to our telegram channel from this link also or the link you will also find in our description video description as well as on our channel description and also we are going to uh, create a means complete playlist on microsoft sql server so that will contain all the parts from beginning to the advanced level and that we are going to upload once we receive achieve the milestone of 500 subscribers on our channel so that more and more people can benefit from that particular series so thank you everyone thank you for watching and be ready for the next set tomorrow thank you